good morning from the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink in Buffalo's Riverside Park, where the Nickel City Hockey Network is proud to present live coverage of Hashik's Heroes Hockey. Hello, I'm Aaron Elpern, along with Sean McHugh in the 412 Communications broadcast booth. 412 Communications, the new gold standard in digital media solutions. And Sean, I said I'm proud to present this broadcast, and that might not be going far enough. We view our work here at the Nickel City Hockey Network as a positive contribution into the hockey community, and it's really only natural, natural to partner with Hashix Heroes, an organization whose mission is to make hockey dreams come true for Western New York kids. That is 100% accurate, Aaron. The Hashix Heroes mantra is to make it so everybody gets an opportunity to play hockey. There's a huge initiative throughout the game to say that the game is for everybody, no matter what that means, whether it's you know money, what you, who you are as an individual, where you come from, and Hashix Heroes definitely makes their thumbprint on that initiative, providing the experience at these kids and these families, no cost for equipment or ice, just giving these kids the opportunity to learn to play the game we all love. Because Aaron, as we know, both growing up as hockey players, this game can come with a financial burden, and Hashix Heroes does their part in the Western New York community to relieve these families of that so these kids don't get robbed of an opportunity to enjoy this game. That's absolutely true. The programs at Hashix Heroes provide the community a place for all young athletes to learn to skate, learn how to play this great game, and as, as Sean mentioned, develop specifically for families that maybe can't afford the astronomically growing costs that are associated with the sport. No fees to participate in Hashix Heroes. That eliminates the biggest hurdle Did that really keeps kids away from the sport. And uh, they're the continuing to add to what Hashix Heroes is doing here in the hockey community. This is kind of a new initiative for the program. This is the first time Hashix Heroes has played outside of their own group, playing in the Travel League, facing off against the Buffalo Regals here today. Last week's game kicked things off in the right way, a 5-1 victory for Hashix Heroes. Goals scored by Mike Kelly, Caleb Mosier, Mike Wright, and Maverick Kelly. Brody Simonic got the win in goal. And that's something that I had I was thinking about on the way in today. How cool would it be to play goaltender for Hashix Heroes? I it, everybody when we were kids growing up wanted to be the goalie. I that changes dramatically when you become teenagers. But when we're kids, especially you and I growing up in the 90s, watching Dom play, seeing Hashix's name and playing goal for that organization has got to be the coolest thing for a young goaltender. And he's channeling a current Sabres goaltender as well, as I see lightsabers on his mask, so. Looks like he's trying to mimic a past legend and potentially a future legend as well here with Hashix Heroes. Number 80, Brody Simonic in net for Hashix Heroes today at the other side of the rink. It is going to be Carson Fordham in net for the Buffalo Regals. Excited to get things kicked off here with this 10U matchup. Hashix Heroes and the Buffalo Regals squad meeting here at the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink. And uh, as Sean and I have been mentioning ever since we opened up the broadcast, we are extremely excited to be a part of this, excited to... Uh, get a chance to further what Hashix Heroes already does in the hockey community and uh, expand the spotlight upon what they do, which is uh, truly a great contribution to the hockey community and the community in general. I mean, Buffalo is a city that's doing everything they can to grow hockey within the community, a community that gets behind hockey to begin with. And getting these kids involved in the game early and just taking burden off their families and making it more about the game is the best way to do that. And now we're gonna get to see Hashix Heroes, a new travel team, go to work against one of the originals, one of the, the big dogs in the travel industry, the Buffalo Regals. Yeah, Buffalo Regals, a, a long time travel program, a youth program here in the Western New York area. So many teams, I've, I kind of lost count. I was trying to count up all the different Regals teams that are currently running. Regals certainly do their part helping out the Buffalo hockey community. It's cool to have the game between uh, a legendary program like the Regals that have been around for so long and the Hashix Heroes program, a newer comer to the scene here in Western New York hockey, but both making great contributions to the community. We're underway here from the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink. Puck into the Regal zone. Both teams trying to come up with possession. It's going to be Mackenzie Bills starting it from behind the net up the near wall. Regals with possession along the near boards, trying to move it out along the right wing, but it's kept in right at the blue line. Good play there by Nathaniel Usiak to make sure it didn't leave the zone. Usiak now putting some pressure on below the goal line. Mackenzie Bills evades that pressure by firing it up the near side. Kept in at the point again by Hashix Heroes. Enough to set up a little bit of offense just inside the blue line. Puck held in the high slot, played towards the front of the net. Both teams just trading possession back and forth for the moment while Kevin O'Connor picks it up, gets it into the far corner. 
Mackenzie Bills there to start the breakout again on the near side. Puck comes up the near wall. Now the Regals trying to get it out past that point. It does come out into the neutral zone, but three different jerseys in yellow there to pick it up. And now Hashik's Heroes looking to come back towards the offensive zone. On the puck right now is going to be McKenzie or Maverick Kelly, but uh, Hashik's Heroes just in offsides. And we get a stoppage in play with 10.43 to go in period number one. Faceoff coming along the Buffalo Regals blue line. Hashik's Heroes doing a good job keeping possession early into this game. They seem to have a really, really good discipline on keeping their pinch in below the line here. First bit of possession going to the guys in yellow, to the players in yellow. A couple of times there that the breakout came up that right wing wall, but a good play at that left point to make sure it didn't leave the zone. The one time that it did leave the zone, there were three different players in yellow there to pick up that loose puck and go right back into the offensive end. Hashik's Heroes having to play a little bit of work here in the defensive zone, but they have possession along the near wall. Battle for a loose puck now, just a few steps inside the blue line. Taken away there and moved towards the front of the net. Sharp trying to get to uh, get up to the skates here and find that possession, but it's played down low. That was uh, Bridget Bucky making sure it got deep in the offensive zone for the Regals. Pass up the far wall by Hashik's Heroes, and they move it towards the blue line. Looking to get it out of the zone there for Hashik's Heroes, Gareth Jones. Regals keeping possession in the far corner. Player gets knocked down. Regals fans calling for a penalty, but none coming as the Regals keep possession. Good defensive play to take that scoring opportunity away. That was uh, number eight, Robert Chevalier, as uh, Hashik's Heroes finding possession just inside the blue line. Puck played into the neutral zone. It's going to be picked up there by Nolan Bucky. Nolan Bucky, one of three triplets on this Regals roster. Regals into the offensive zone, getting it deep and now putting some pressure on the defenseman. Chevalier gets it up ice though. That one just barely goes off the stick of its intended target. And then back in across the blue line, we get another stoppage in play. 9.20 now remaining here in the first period. Still no score yet between the Buffalo Regals and Hashix Heroes. Yeah, Buffalo Regals gets an opportunity to create a little zone time here. Still no high danger scoring chances, but both teams taking turns cycling the puck around in the offensive zone. Seemed that the first shift was more in favor of the team in yellow, Hashix Heroes. They had the extended zone time. Then the second shift was a reversal of fortunes, where it was the Regals spending more time in the uh, Hashix Heroes end. Loose puck here in the neutral zone. It comes back towards the red line as both teams try to find possession. Priola in that fray along with Mosier, and it comes across the Hashix Heroes blue line. Alana Kraft going back to pick it up for her team. Puck still just inside the Hashix Heroes blue line. Regals making sure it gets into that far corner. Caleb Mosher going to pick it up for his team. Gets it to the point. Trying to keep it in there was Cohen Zaborowski, but it ends up back in the neutral zone. Zaborowski picking up there. Zaborowski connects on a pass and gets the puck back again in the neutral zone. Taken away by Mosher, and here comes Hashix Heroes with some speed. Caleb Mosher with the breakaway into the offensive zone. Takes a quick wrist shot and beats the netminder. Caleb Mosher with the first goal of the game. It's 1-0 Hashix Heroes. Caleb Mosher doing a nice job sticking with the play. Once the puck comes loose, he gets behind the defense and walks in, puts the move on he wants, and Hashix Heroes with 8-21 here in the first take a 1-0 lead. It was a successful first game last weekend, a 5-1 victory for Hashix Heroes. And at least so far in game two, they've picked up right where they left off. First goal on the board at the 8-21 mark of period number one. Hashix Heroes with the 1-0 lead. Brody Simonic out of his goal crease to play that one to the corner. As Hashix Heroes finding possession on the stick of Maverick Kelly. Kelly tries to sidestep two different defenders. Good play there by the Regals to force possession away. And now the teams try to find it below the goal line, pass towards the front. Good play by the Hashix Heroes defenders to make sure that didn't get to, get to a Regal stick. Regals again trying to set something up down low. But taking it away and skating it up ice is Mike Wright. Mike Wright up the right wing wall, but that puck is taken away from him. Phoebe Mercado tries to help out, but it's going to be the Regals bringing it across the blue line with Walzak. Hashix Heroes back in the other direction. Collision at the middle ice red line. As uh, players still down on the play as uh, whistle sounds to signal a stoppage. As uh, referee comes over to tend to the Hashix Heroes player down on the play as we have a moment to 
thank some of our sponsors for their help in making some of our broadcast work possible. This broadcast made possible by Buffalo Golf and Social, Western New York's leading indoor golf facility. As Maverick Kelly getting back to his skates, heading back to the bench, good to see. He's doing all right after that collision there along the center ice red line. Buffalo Golf and Social, Western New York's leading indoor golf facility with simulators, lessons, and leagues. Buffalo Golf Social, Buff Buffalo Golf and Social, the area's best destination for year-round practice and instruction. Gonna have a face-off in the neutral zone. As it is uh, number 18, Mike Wright squaring off for the face-off for Hashix Heroes. On the other side, it was number 53, Jackson Pelline. Shot taken on the backhand from the right. mid slot, right in on goal. Robert Walzak letting that shot go. The first test for the netminder, Brody Simonic. Good stop. Make sure there's no second chance right, opportunity Brady, as well. Go. Simonic making that first stop and making sure he go covers go. up the rebound. Faceoff will come up deep in the Hashix Hero zone to the right of the netminder. Players getting properly lined up now for this defensive zone faceoff in the Hashix Heroes end. As we have 7.09 to go in the first period. Puck is down and the Regals find possession off the draw. Shot taken from distance. Caleb Au getting that one in on goal. Simonic making another save. Good play to take that one away and drive towards the front of the net. Nolan Bucky with a stuff attempt there and another save by Simonic. That's three in tight succession. Play in front of the goal crease. That one goes just to the left of Simonic as the backhander was taken from in tight. Hashix Heroes now clearing the zone and getting that puck out to center ice. But we have an offsides call at the Hashix Heroes blue line and a stoppage in play as well. Have a faceoff coming up back in the neutral zone. Buffalo Regals definitely after getting scored on right there, putting their pedal to the metal, getting some offensive zone pressure, getting by far their best offensive scoring chance of the game. Nice stop there by the goaltender to keep it one nothing Hashix Heroes. Yeah, there were three different opportunities there, three different shots on goal for the Regals. Simonic up to all of those challenges, plus there was that uh, extended period of time where the puck was sitting in front of the crease before that one eventually got played off to the side. So a little bit of a uh, offensive push now for the Regals as we get another offsides call as the puck comes quickly out into the neutral zone and then back in across over the red line. So another neutral zone faceoff coming up with 6.28 to go in the period. To this point, too, there's been a good pace of play here. Not a whole lot of whistles until this run of offsides. Let's see if the pace of play can continue. Patrick's Heroes players getting properly lined up for this draw in the neutral zone. Puck is down, and the Regals played in across the blue line. Hashik's Heroes getting it quickly back out to the neutral zone. And this is going to be Bridget Bucky looking to start it up ice for the Regals. Pass is intercepted by the goal scorer here early on, Caleb Mosher, but he got it up ice a little bit too quickly. Aye, aye, Teammate just go. offside, so that ends up being an offsides call. And another whistle faceoff will be coming up along the Regals' blue line. Now 6.15 to go in first period action. Offsides parades continue here as the faceoff's coming in the offensive zone here, but again, both teams are still skating here. Both teams are trying to stretch the play out. It's actually really entertaining to watch, too. Just once these passes get connected on, we got some plays being made here. Puck comes barely back over the blue line, and that's going to result in another offsides. So as the teams try to uh, get their legs under them and uh, get the, uh, the game opened up just a little bit more, here we have another neutral zone faceoff coming up. And our broadcast today brought to you by Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker. To buy, sell, or lease any office, industrial, retail, or investment property, trust the unparalleled knowledge and experience of Militello Realty. Elliot Bucky with a breakaway opportunity. Got just a step in behind the defense. Didn't have a whole lot of time to let the shot go, but still got a good wrist shot in on goal. Uh, Brody Simonic making another good stop. That's the fourth one here in the last couple of minutes, keeping Hashik's heroes out in front by a 1-0 score. Yeah, Brody Simonic gets tested again. He has been up to the task the last few minutes here, being a brick wall in there, channeling his inner Hashik right here. It seems that the Regals have gotten that bit of life after giving up the first goal of the game. You always wonder after the game's first goal whether or not it's the team that scores that's going to have that extra jump in their legs or if it's the team that gives up the goal. We'll look for that quick response. At least so far in this one, the Regals with a great response. They've kind of held play since that opening goal. Sure have. They're getting shots and they're getting breakaways. So, yeah, they just got to keep sticking to their game plan. They'll keep getting those chances. Regals find possession off the faceoff. Sending it in across the blue line is number 11, that being Elliot Bucky. He had that opportunity just a moment ago. Elliot Bucky with the puck on his stick yet again, just inside the blue line. Side Ooh. steps a defender and feeds it down low. 
Teammate picking it up there. Sharp playing it to the near boards. Hashik's Heroes looking to clear the zone. And they get one that one all the way through the neutral zone. And that was along the near board, so a little bit tough to tell exactly where right, it was. Nice Eventually it reappeared one. below the goal line. So that one's an icing call against Hashik's Heroes. Faceoff coming 200 feet back in the other direction, back in the Hashik's Heroes end. 1-0 score in favor of the home team. 5.07 to go in first period play. However, the Buffalo Regals have been pushing the pace here since it was that first goal scored by number 69, Caleb Mosher, for Hashik's Heroes. Faceoff will be to the glove hand side of the netminder, Brody Simonic. And the puck is dropped. Shot coming off the draw. That one blocked on its way through. Hashik's Heroes defenders getting into that shooting lane, making sure it didn't get in on goal. Under five minutes to go in the period as Hashik's Heroes finding possession here along the near side. Some speed carrying it through the neutral zone. Hashik's Heroes looking to develop some offense. Shot coming in from distance. That one just barely misses the net wide. Then it ends up rimming around the boards and coming all the way back out into the neutral zone. Sent right back in across the blue line. That's going to result in an offsides call. As we now have 4.40 to go in first period play, this faceoff will come right in front of the Buffalo Eagles bench. Yeah, just, just a hair out, just a chance there for Hashik's Heroes. The shot goes wide. Unfortunately, the defender's not able to get the pinch right there, but Hashik's Heroes takes a chance to respond. Now let's see if they can get some time in the offensive zone. Puck in the neutral zone now as it's uh, moved forward by the Regals and into the offensive end. Shot coming from nice the left play. wing. Save is made by Brody Simonic. He has been uh, a busy netminder here for the last four or five minutes of game action, standing up to every single challenge the Regals throw at him so far. Back into center ice as the Regals regroup and look at, looking to get it back into the offensive zone. Priola helping it along to get it into the offensive end. Player gets knocked down. Referees ready to call that tripping penalty as it was Pryor forcing the uh, penalty call. Pryor drawing the penalty, and it's going to be an opportunity on the power play for the Buffalo Regals. Trailing 1-0, but they might have some momentum in this game. This power play comes at a pretty good time for them. Yeah, they could definitely use a power play here. They're getting all the opportunities. Now they're going to get a man advantage. Coaches getting their uh, power play set up, formulated, and getting the proper personnel out there for this man advantage. So we'll have to determine who exactly is uh, serving the penalty as we don't yet have a player from Hashik's Heroes in the box. There we go, the guilty party finally heading off the bench and getting into the box. That is uh, Gabriel Mason, two minutes for tripping. And a two minute power play coming up here in favor of the Buffalo Regals. Actually, I might have been a little quick saying two minutes on the power play. I'm not exactly sure that in 10U it's two minutes or if it's 1.30. It's one minute. I uh, stand corrected and I was a little bit quick to get on that one. I allowed the, saw what was happening in the play to remember the, uh, the difference between a lot of the hockey that we see and the offsides rule that's called in youth hockey in USA Hockey. So I've already picked up on that one. Now I have the uh, penalties. It's a, a 130 penalty, so a minute 18 to go right now in this man advantage for the Regals. Aaron, if that's the worst mistake you made today, I think you're doing just fine. Well, it's still early, Sean. Let's not give me too much credit for not making mistakes. I'm trying still to be, early I'm the, the optimist. Period. I'm the optimistic one here, Aaron. We got to do it this way. I always appreciate that optimism, Sean. Speaking of, it's an opportunity potentially shorthanded. Mike right into the offensive end. Let's the shot go. Just can't get it on goal. Two on one setting up there. Right took the shot himself. Just couldn't get it on the Regals netminder. Right made the Mike right, right made the right play. That was not intentional. Oh, here's the right play. 2 on 0, maybe even a 3 on 0. Right coming back hard defensively, though, cutting off that lane for Walzak. Walzak oh, just takes love that shot that just if you're, inside you the You love line. seeing that if you're Coach Latempio, the sprawl out to stop the breakout. Great effort by the Hashix Heroes. Yeah, especially considering Mike Wright was the one that was pushing it up ice in the other direction, getting the offensive opportunity. Then the first one back defensively to spoil the offensive chance for the Regals. We just have another one set up here down low. Walzak with a break. Wide open in front of the net. Just couldn't find the goal. Just missing the near post. Hashik's Heroes with a chance to maybe get a clear. Mosher looking to get it out of the zone. Gets knocked down on the play. Wright's going to try to help that one out. Does get it out to center ice. Now pressuring the Regals of, uh, offensive player. Regals come in off sides. It's the hybrid off sides here too. Yes, yes. It's as soon as it comes across the line as the player's off sides, it's blown dead immediately. That is... Uh, the rule in USA Hockey, so a little bit of an adjustment for us here in the broadcast booth if you're accustomed to watching youth hockey. That is uh, not an adjustment that you're making, but uh, we're making sure we're keeping up with things. We already got the uh, penalties figured out now. The offsides has uh, still two seconds to go here 
on this Regals power play. Great kill by Hash Six Heroes. Had an opportunity shorthanded in that in that kill as well, almost getting uh, getting a goal themselves. Regals though did a good job themselves creating a couple opportunities in that minute and a half. Hash Six Heroes finding possession just inside the blue line. Good work there to get it out by Nathaniel Usiak. Played up ice by Smith back into the offensive zone for the Regals. Intercepted by Maverick Kelly, and he moves up the right side. Good defensive play to take him off of that puck, and now the Regals look to counter. Shot taken from about 20 feet. That one just barely misses the net wide. Regals get possession again. Back to the point to Rodriguez. Rodriguez chips it along to Smith. Smith in the left circle. Good defensive play by Aubrey Simonic there, taking that puck away, allowing Hashik's Heroes to now move the puck through the neutral zone. Oh, do you get one? Player gets knocked down. There's going to be a penalty coming up against the Regals, but maybe a breakaway for Hashik's Heroes. This is Maverick Kelly in alone. Takes the shot, trying to go for that top corner. Just couldn't get it under the crossbar. Regals get the touch, and the penalty is called. So it's the after the Regals power play expires. About 30 seconds go by, and then Hashik's Heroes drawing a penalty. It's going to be a man advantage now for the team in yellow with a minute 32 to go in the period. Wow, Maverick Kelly, man. He must have taken a prime energy drink or something right there. He got hauled down, got up, took the puck, and then went in by himself. Like, man. That's yeah, impressive to, to have uh, the energy like that, Aaron. I'd give anything for it again. Now, just watching him do that, I got to take an Advil. Yeah, it's one thing to draw the penalty. That's enough to, uh, to earn a compliment from the broadcast booth. But not only do you draw the penalty, but then get back up and be the first one to the loose puck and then create a chance for yourself. Some good work there by number 47, Maverick Kelly, as uh, Hashik's Heroes going in offside. So nine seconds gone here on this power play opportunity. That's a cool name too, Maverick Kelly. Mom and dad nailed it with that one. And dad at least was a Top Gun fan. I won't be told he wasn't. <laughs> I'm not going to doubt you there. For That's one not second, a, that so. is a, in no way, shape, or form is that a criticism. That is such a compliment. Oh, no, I took that as a compliment myself. That's for certain. Oh, yes. Hashix Heroes getting it in across the blue line. Now looking to set up something with Nathaniel Usiak on the far side. A couple of Regals players bump into each other, and that gives Usiak a little bit of room to maneuver. Can't get that pass along to Nahan Howell. And now it's going to be a chance for the Regals in through the neutral zone. Elliott Bucky gets behind the defense. Bucky with a chance, goes high glove side and finds the back of the net. It's a shorthanded goal for Elliott Bucky and a 1-1 tie game as the Regals are on the board. Elliott Bucky, smooth as butter. Look at this, skates right to center ice. Look at this young man, act like you've done it before. Inside, outside, puts the shot over the glove, head down, skates right back to center ice. He's going to do it again. I like that. There's still more work to do. A minute three to go in the period, a minute one in the penalty kill. And he tried it again, too. Let's get ready for that next opportunity. Bucky looking to create again, shorthanded. Now he's got a steal, taking that puck off the Hashix Heroes stick. And now it's going to be an offsides as uh, Hashix Heroes unable to clear the zone before sending it back in across the blue line. 45 seconds to go on the power play for Hashix Heroes. A little bit more in the period, 47.2 in the period in general. And our broadcast this morning brought to you by Envious Gameware. Designers of custom hockey uniforms, bags, and apparel. Visit enviousgameware.com to get your team a look to be envious of. And if you want a look to be envious of, take a look at these Buffalo Regals uniforms. Those are made by Envious Gameware, and they are some sharp-looking fits right here. Regals having to play some defense in those sharp-looking envious jerseys. Setting up in front of the net is looking to get that pass in front is number 11, Ethan Lazor. Puck comes to the near wall as the Regals look to get it out of the zone. Good play there along the blue line by Mosher to keep it in, but only briefly. Almost an opportunity with some speed there through the neutral zone. Just couldn't quite settle that one down to get it up ice for the Regals. 14 seconds to go in the period as the teams try to battle for a loose puck just along the center ice red line. Mosier picking it up and crossing the blue line with seven seconds to go in the period. Shot from distance, blocked before it gets to the net. Second defensive play, making sure that one doesn't get to the front, front of the cage. Savannah Reinecker making sure that that last second attempt there by the Hashix Heroes side didn't end up in a shot on goal. And that's how period number one will come to a conclusion with a 1-1 score. The team's trading goals here in the first period. It was Hashik's Heroes out in front early. Caleb Mosier getting the game's first goal, but the uh, equalizer scored by the Regals shorthanded here about a minute ago, and that's how we have our 1-1 score after 20 minutes of play. Entertaining period, to say the very least. In the first, both teams you know, scoring on breakaways. 
plenty of scoring chances too, some power plays. Good period for both teams, exactly what you want to see here. Both teams getting opportunities, both teams playing in both ends of the ice. Got a 1-1 tie here, so it's about as good a game as we could have asked for so far. And pretty much uh, what I would have signed up for if you told me that our first game was going to be a back and forth 1-1 affair through the first period. Both teams with plenty of chances, uh, both teams enjoying a power play, but uh, currently unable to make those power plays pay off. Actually, we have a shorthanded goal scored by the uh, team in red, the Buffalo Regals, and uh, it was a, a five on five goal that the Hashix Heroes side scored, but a, a very entertaining first period. Both sides probably have a lot to be happy about coming out of this first intermission. Definitely. Goaltending was good for Hashix Heroes. Goaltending was solid for Buffalo. I mean, that, Regal's got way more shots, forcing the hand of the Hashix Heroes goaltender, but both teams got a goal, pretty goals as well, and some opportunities. So I expect a lot more of that, especially because they don't go into an intermission, they just flip the ice and keep going. Yep, right away here into the start of second period play, a 1-1 score, five on five play again, starting off this period as uh, that Buffalo Regals penalty came with a minute 32 to go in the period, so that penalty expiring just before the period came to a conclusion. Regals going in barely off sides there, maybe just a step off sides, they had some speed too, maybe a two on one setting up, so a chance goes by the wayside, unfortunately from the Regals perspective, and a neutral zone faceoff coming up. Yeah, Regal's definitely looking to keep their pedal to the metal here. They were just maybe a stride offside, and they had numbers going into the zone, so look to see if they continue that um, in the second period. Regal's finding possession off the faceoff, and they get it across the blue line. Hashik's Heroes, though, nice defensive play, intercepting that one and starting quickly up ice. This is Maverick Kelly. Kelly with a step, and he takes that shot. Tough angle there as uh, went off the glove of the netminder. Good save to keep that one out of the net. And uh, Carson Fordham making a stop there with the glove to deny Kelly's opportunity on the rush. In the opposite direction, the Regals come with Smith. Smith tries to get that shot on goal. De good defensive play. That was, again, Maverick Kelly coming back quickly on the defensive end to get that one deflected. And then a quick save as uh, covering that one up, making sure there's no second chance. Brody Simonic, we talked about him in the first period. He made four or five really good stops. He's at it again here in the second period. Simonic with another stop here early in period two. Yeah, Brody Simone getting out, not laying out on his stomach to make sure he can cover that puck and no rebound because the Regals had some vultures around the crease looking to scoop it home for a dirty goal. Both teams making some line changes, a little bit less than a minute into the second period. Teams battle for possession off the draw, comes towards the front of the net. Jones with a chance to let a shot go. Right pad save made by Simone. And uh, that's uh, another one that's two already here, not even a minute into the second period. Simonic on his game so far. Moving it up ice and trying to get it across the blue line. Mike Wright denied the entry there, and in the other direction, it's going to be Stazic. Good defensive play, taking that puck away. Robert Chevalier keeping that uh, rush towards the front of the net from coming together. And now a loose puck just inside the blue line. Regals play it towards the mid slot, again, keeping it in at the point. Couple of good plays there just inside the blue line. That was number 13, Mackenzie Bills, making sure he didn't leave the zone two or three times. She made sure she got the stick down, keeping that one from getting out. Two on one, battle on the far side. Hashik's Heroes coming out with possession, now looking to get it out of the zone. Mike Wright with the puck on his stick just inside the, uh, just outside the blue line. Now with some room to carry it up ice. Wright cuts towards the middle of the ice, still with possession. Eventually, Bills taking that one away. Coming back good defensively, Mackenzie Bills with that uh, good defensive poke check. Regals take it away again, 2-1-2. Two two. Walzak sidesteps one defender, now in across the blue line. Teammate out towards the front of the net. Walzak with possession yet again. Puck played back towards the corner, though, as they look to uh, continue to set up some offensive zone time. Walzak again below the, below the goal line. Played towards the front, now a chance. Elliot Bucky letting the wrist shot go. Got a lot on that one, just couldn't find the far post. Scramble for a loose puck in front of the net. Hashik Heroes finally getting that one cleared before a second or third opportunity was there for the Regals. Elliot Bucky finding possession again. He had the goal in first period play and now has possession on the far side. Elliot Bucky getting knocked down. No call though. Regals fans calling for the trip, but none coming. Mike Wright getting the zone cleared for Hashik Heroes. As Hashix Heroes looking to now get it in the offensive end. Right with a step and getting it into the corner. 
Wright collects his own dump in. Now looks to put some pressure on the three defenders down low. Regals, though, take away possession. Started up the near wall. Skate hard, skate hard. Across the blue line, this is Walzik. Walzik feeds it towards the front of the net. Two Hashix Heroes defenders there to get in the way, though, keeping that pass from connecting. Regals, though, find control of it again. That shot taken from just inside the dot of the far circle. That one just misses the net wide. Simonic out on top of his crease to make sure there was no good shooting angle to take that shot. Puck comes back towards the blue line. Reinecker ends up seeing it go across the blue line and then brings it back in, so that's going to be an offsides call. 8.33 now to go in second period play. If anything, I think the pace has picked up from the first period. Oh, run. it definitely has. It's going back and forth. I mean, that was the first whistle in almost three minutes right there. And our broadcast this morning brought to you by Militella Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker. To buy, sell, or lease any office, industrial, retail, or investment property, trust the unparalleled knowledge and experience of Militella Realty. Quick shot off the faceoff in the neutral zone, in on goal, and another save made by Simonic. As it's uh, picked up behind the, below the goal line, Hashix Heroes looking to start it up the near side. Kevin O'Connor getting it up to the blue line, but a good play by Reinecker to keep it in at least for a moment. And then the puck comes across the blue line out to center ice. Hashik's heroes retreat back inside their own blue line where Mocher plays it up the near wall. Elliot Bucky picking it up along his own blue line. Bucky now circling just inside the uh, regal zone and carrying it through the neutral zone. Bucky losing control but finding it again. Now with a chance to get a pass out in front of the net. Good defensive play as uh, that was Caleb Mosier sprawling to keep that pass from getting in front. Yeah! But it does come to the front of the net eventually. And there's a Regals player there waiting for it. Banging that one home is going to be Jackson Poline. It's now 2-1 in favor of the Regals as the uh, stick to there in the offensive zone by the Buffalo Regals paying off. They didn't give up on the first opportunity when that one didn't get to the front of the net. The second pass ends up getting there, and uh, Pauline makes it pay off with that opportunity in tight. Elliot Bucky doing a nice job working his way down into the corner. Does, the, does what we're all told to do at this age. When in doubt, put it on net. He does. Goaltender goes to reach out for it. It ends up in front of the net. Pauline, right where you're supposed to be in the offensive zone, slams home the rebound, and the Regals take a 2-1 lead. Nice play there to set that up by Elliot Bucky. He had the goal in first period play and the assist here on the second Regals goal. And as you saw there on that play, it originated with Bucky picking that puck just up inside his own blue line and then starting it up ice. A uh, very offensive defenseman type of move there. No surprise to see on the notes that his favorite player is Rasmus Dahlin. Good role model to have, definitely. Not only has the role model, but it can uh, channel him and play like him right there. Certainly using the uh, the both the full 200-foot game, much like his uh, his hero for the Sabres. Rodriguez keeping it in there for the Regals, trying to get a shot from the top of the circle. Sharp finding the loose puck, making sure the Regals keep it deep in the Hashix Hero zone. Puck comes towards the slot. Regals getting in the way of that passing attempt, but it's going to be at least moving it to the blue line and out by Maverick Kelly. Kelly sidesteps one defender. Maybe an opportunity here for Hashik's Heroes. Kelly lets that shot go. Can't get it on goal. Again, trying to go high blocker side with that one. Just barely missing the far post. Regals find possession. Nolan Bucky trying to start the breakout, but he gets the puck taken away from him. Good play there in the offensive zone by Gareth Jones. Regals, though, find possession and try to move it out again. As uh, finally they do manage to get that puck out to center ice. Maverick Kelly back to pick it up just outside of his own blue line. Kelly with two players on him, feeds it along to a teammate. Eventually that puck is settled down by Aubrey Simonic, but it's taken away. And this is going to be Smith into the offensive zone. Shot from just inside the circle there in the far dot. Good tight defense there by Hashik's Heroes, making sure that shot ended up going wide with the deflection. Maverick Kelly having a shift as he's back into the offensive zone looking to create. Again, looking to go upstairs as a uh, shot a little bit too much loft on that one again. I think that one just barely went over top of the crossbar. Maybe a play developing here for the Regals as a player almost had a step there in the neutral zone. Good tight defense though, making sure that one didn't come together. Nolan Bucky there, uh, the player for the Regals getting that one up ice. Play ends up coming in off sides against the Regals, so we get another stoppage in play. Now with 5.31 to go in second period action. 2-1, Buffalo Regals in front. Yeah, um, 
Ashley's heroes, though, they're definitely working on the counter. They can just maybe just maybe hit a five iron instead of that eight iron. They probably have two or three more goals. So, yeah, just kind of dial it back a little bit. But, yeah, the opportunities are absolutely there for Ashley's heroes since getting scored on. Yeah, you got to think that every opportunity that Maverick Kelly has to let that shot go, they're going to get better and better every chance he gets to test the goaltender. The last two seem to be getting closer to getting on target, and I'm uh, sure that he'll continue to try to create those opportunities. Ashix Heroes making a good play in their own zone and now starting it up the far wall through the center ice area. One on two into the offensive zone, but it might end up as an opportunity nonetheless. Half slap shot taken right in on goal and a good save made, keeping this one a 2-1 Regals lead. Regals looking to counter. Jones unable to win that foot race. Ashix Heroes players getting to it quickly. And now they try to get the puck out of the zone and it barely comes across the blue line. Nolan Bucky with a uh, frustrated looking play there as it just barely came across and then bringing it back across the line so we get another offsides call. And uh, faceoff will be along the Regals blue line now with 4.46 to go here in the second period. Regals with the 2-1 lead. Our broadcast today brought to you by Buffalo Golf and Social, Western New York's leading indoor golf facility. Simulators, lessons, and leagues, Buffalo Golf and Social, Western New York's best destination for year-round practice and instruction. Locations in downtown and in Orchard Park. Book your next event with Buffalo Golf and Social. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go in second period action. Buffalo Regals with a 2-1 lead as the puck is below the goal line here in the Hashix Hero Zone. Stuff attempt there by Caleb Au, but unable to get that one past the netminder. Another good save by Brody Simonic. And now this is going to be Mike Wright finding control and moving it into center ice. Mosier losing handle on it there, but it comes right back towards the middle of the rink. Good defensive play to create a loose puck, and now there's going to be Walzek coming up ice. Walzek with an opportunity, can't get the shot away before Mosier gets over there to get a stick on that. Another time where the uh, Hashix Heroes players are smart in their own end, getting that stick down and getting that deflection, keeping their goaltender from having to face a tough shot. Good play by Reinecker in the neutral zone, creating a loose puck and sending it back into the offensive end. Under four minutes to go in the second period. Comes back towards the point, Reinecker picking it up there. Have to wait until teammates can clear the zone. Good patience, still one teammate across the blue line, not yet realizing the situation, so we do have the offsides called. And another stoppage, faceoff coming up in the neutral zone. Now 3.40 to go in the second period. Yeah, good patience right there uh, by the Buffalo Regals. We have one player who seemed to think they were on sides. That, that'll happen. Uh, no big deal, no harm, no foul. Regals still get a face off in the neutral zone. Uh, but good, good offensive pressure there by Buffalo on that series. They were getting scoring chances, so they're looking to extend that lead. Hashix Heroes getting to their proper formation for this neutral zone draw. Bit of a scramble draw, and both teams try to find possession after the puck comes free. Kevin O'Connor along the near wall trying to get it free for his side. Pauline ends up taking it away for the Regals. Shot gets blocked, and now it's an opportunity for Maverick Kelly to load up the speed. Kelly with pace through the neutral zone, but really good defensive play just outside the blue line. Two different Regals players converging on either side to make sure Kelly really didn't have a lane to get that speed going. Ashix Heroes do manage to get the puck into the offensive zone. Regals now looking to start the breakout. Pauline has the puck on the stick right there just inside the blue line, but a good play knocking it off of Pauline at least for a moment. Puck is eventually fed back through the neutral zone as the Regals find it just below our broadcast position. Sharp toward the blue line. Elliott Bucky takes it across, but that one just off sides as Bucky made that last move before the blue line. Ends up drawing Pauline in offside, so another stoppage in play. Now with 2.49 to go in second period action. Faceoff will come right in front of that Buffalo Regals bench. Big three minutes here for both teams. You know what? You know Hashix Heroes really wants to get this game tied, and you know the Regals definitely want to get another one on the board so they can have a little breathing room going into the third period. Puck is dropped and play, played off to the far wall where two players from the Regals and two from the Hashix Heroes try to find possession. Back across the blue line and then Hashix Heroes clears the zone, sending Zaborowski back into his own end. Zaborowski's pass goes off the skate and he has control of it again. Now looking for another passing option. Eventually plays that one along and now some speed through the neutral zone for Elliott Bucky, but a good defensive play right at the center ice red line by Robert Chevalier. Chevalier taking that one right off the stick and getting it up ice himself. 
We had Bucky again into the offensive zone, creating something for the Regal side. Puck comes towards the front of the net, good pad save. As again, Simone getting that right pad extended and keeping that Regal shot, which had a lot on it from getting past it. Puck played through the neutral zone, just inside the Regal's blue line. They cleared the zone quickly, but it sent right back in. That was Nahan Howell making sure it gets into the offensive zone. Puck now fed deep by Hashik's Heroes as we're under two minutes to play in the second period. Regals with possession in the far corner. Jones with the puck on his stick. Plays it up ice. And the breakout now moving up ice with Lucas Smith. Smith plays that one along to Pauline. Pauline to Pryor just barely on side. So now Pauline with an opportunity. Takes that shot while getting knocked down. Good opportunity as he took a lot just to get that shot away from Pauline. Got a lot on it with a man on it. Minute 20 to go in the period as it's James back in his own zone for the Regals. James with three Hashix Heroes players trying to guard the uh, breakout attempt. Does manage to get it up ice and now the Hashix Heroes side will have to play a little bit of defense. Puck played through the neutral zone, now rolling slowly into the Regal zone. So this one's not going to go for icing. It just got up on edge a little bit, enough to keep the momentum from getting it to the red line. Hashix Heroes making a change, and that'll give the Regals a chance to move it up ice. 50 seconds remaining in the period as the player gets knocked down. Jones getting knocked down there at the center ice area. That's going to draw a tripping call against the Hashix Heroes side. And a two-minute power play now, sorry, a minute and a half power play coming up for the Regals. 46 seconds to go in the period, a chance to add to that 2-1 lead. Yeah, Regal's definitely going to head to the man advantage, and they're going to get a chance, which is exactly what they're looking for. This is a big, this is a big kill for Hashix Heroes. And a big power play for the Regals with 46 seconds to go. Those goals in the last minute feel great when you score them. They hurt and they sting a little bit more when you allow them. So the draw will come to the left of Simonic. 46 seconds to go in the period. And our broadcast today brought to you by 412 Communications, the new gold standard in digital media solutions. Put their 40 plus years of experience to work for you. 412communications.com. Power play continues for the Regals. Puck comes towards the high slot. Mosier trying to get it out of the zone. It comes all the way to the blue line and then barely out across the blue line. It was brought back in eventually by Bridget Bucky, but that ends up being an offsides call. So neutral zone faceoff coming up with 30.6 seconds to go in the frame. Yeah, faceoff coming into the neutral zone. Let's see if either the Regals can get something set up or if Hashix Heroes can maybe get a late opportunity shorthanded. Faceoff in front of the Regals bench. Regals find possession off the draw, getting it in across the blue line, but it's going to be Hashix Heroes with possession. Pass is intercepted. Opportunity in tight. What a save. Brody Simonic robbing that breakaway opportunity for the Regals, keeping this one a 2-1 game. He's made a bunch of big saves already today, none bigger than that one when his team needed it the most. He has been the best player. Him and Maverick Kelly have been the best player on the ice for Hashix Heroes so far. And when your goalie's your best player, you have a chance to win every single game. As we were talking about in the pregame, the uh, the added significance of a goaltender playing for the Hashix Heroes team, certainly uh, making sure that he lives up to the name on the front of his jersey. He's been uh, very solid in net so far. Hashix Heroes getting a clear, maybe enough time for a last second shot. Probably not, though, as the last couple of seconds tick away. Reinecker on that loose puck as second period play comes to a conclusion. It's a 2-1 score in favor of the Buffalo Regals. The only goal in that period coming for the team in red. Good period for the Regals. They get their goal on a good, hard-working play by Pauline in front of the net to bang home a rebound. Hashix Heroes got a few opportunities. They don't need to change a whole lot, if really anything. Just going to be a battle. Got to kill this penalty in the beginning of the third, and then we'll see what we can get for the remainder of the regulation. I got to think that uh, Maverick Kelly will be looking for more opportunities to get some speed going. He's uh, played with some good pace throughout this game. Had a bunch of opportunities. Some of the shots not quite getting on goal so far. More chances that come along, though, the sharper that shot will get. Yeah, if I'm Red, I, if I'm the Regals, I definitely would not allow Maverick Kelly to get any more open looks because once he picks his spot, he's going to be a tough shooter to stop. All right, second intermission continuing here as we bring you our first game in our coverage of Hashix Heroes Hockey. Certainly uh, delighted to bring this expanded coverage to our work here at the Nickel City Hockey Network. And certainly happy that you're able to join us here this morning at almost afternoon now. As uh, just a couple of minutes before noon here from the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink, ice rink uh, in Buffalo's Riverside Park. Certainly 
delighted to bring you this broadcast. Hashik's Heroes and the Buffalo Regals meeting today in Western New York 10U Hockey. Power play now continuing for the Regals as we get started here in the third period. 44 seconds remaining on the power play for the Regals as uh, Hashik's Heroes will have to kill off the remainder of these 44 seconds before they can get back into the uh, offensive swing of things, try to get back even here in this game. Underway here in the third period, Nolan Bucky into the offensive zone for the Regals. Offsides waved off as it's going to be Maverick Kelly picking it up in the far corner. Kelly swings it behind the net, and it's in the near corner where Mike, Mike Wright picks it up. Gets that one along to Kelly, and Hashik's Heroes trying to clear the zone, but Nolan Bucky getting in the way of that pass. Regals keep it in again, at least for a moment, but it's going to be taken up, taken up ice. And into the offensive zone, Aubrey Simonic, shot from distance, right in on goal, save is made. Fordham making the pad stop and then falling on top of it, making sure that second chance opportunity isn't there for the Hashix Heroes side. Right, right off the bat, Hashix Heroes gets an opportunity shorthanded. Not only do they kill the better part of the penalty, they get a scoring chance and an offensive zone faceoff, so they can get to even strength, they'll have possession, and they'll be able to get set up in the offensive zone. Six seconds remaining on the penalty kill for Hashik's Heroes. Both sides making sure they have their uh, proper setup for this faceoff in the Regal zone. Puck is down, and Elliot Bucky looks to take it up ice. Bucky sidesteps one defender, but uh, has a little bit of back pressure there. Nice play by Mike Wright to take that one away. Right now back in the offensive zone himself, just can't keep his balance as he cuts towards the mid slot. Hashik's Heroes penalty expiring as they keep the puck in at the far side. Nathaniel Usiak keeping it in there at that first attempt. Regals eventually clear it out to center ice, and then as it comes back in across the blue line, offsides is called against the Hashik's Heroes team. 14.02 now remaining in the third period. Faceoff will be along the Regals blue line. Puck into the Regal zone as they look to start it up this near side. Running down that puck and looking, to, looking for a passing option now is Walzik. Walzik spins away from a defender and then gets a backhand pass along the near boards. Nobody there to pick it up. O'Connor intercepts it, but Elliott Bucky now intercepts a pass and he comes into the offensive zone. Elliott Bucky cuts towards the front. Good defense there, keeping him towards uh, from getting towards the front of the net. And now back into center ice, played ahead by Reinecker. Hatchets Heroes just inside their own blue line with possession. Elliott Bucky, though, taking it away and now looking to create something offensively. Help there from Caleb Au as well for the Regals. Au chasing down that loose puck on the far side, but a good play by Nathaniel Usiak to win that foot race. Usiak again with the puck on the forehand and then now backhand trying to move it up ice. Gets that one to Howell and then into center ice for O'Connor. O'Connor at the center ice red line. Elliott Bucky taking that one away for the Regals. And now Bucky into the offensive zone looking to create something. Bucky towards the mid slot, cutting towards the right side. Just can't find that near post. Got the shot away, but uh, not inside the post. And it comes back out to center ice now as Hashik's Heroes clearing the zone. Walzek back there for it quickly. Spins it up to Au on the far boards, but Caleb Au going for a change. So that allows Hashik's Heroes to find possession. And Chevalier picking it up, moving that one along to Usiak. Some time and space for Hashik's Heroes to move the puck out of the zone here on the near boards. And into the neutral zone with some speed. This could be an opportunity for Hashik's Heroes into the offensive end. Shot fanned on though. Save was made at the uh, maybe about 50% of that shot in on goal that was uh, hoped for. Save though still had to be made by Carson Fordham and it stays a 2-1 hockey game. Well, 12 remaining in the period. As the faceoff will be to the right of Fordham. 2-1, still the lead in favor of the Buffalo Regals. Hashik's Heroes winning the faceoff. Diana Wojciechowski winning that draw. Hashik's Heroes unable to find possession though as Smith gets it across the blue line for the Regals. Caleb Mosher with some pressure on Smith, forcing a loose puck. Mosher now has control along the near boards. Mosher to the blue line and then gets it out of the zone. Now ch chasing it down here in the neutral zone. Mosher steps around one defender. Mosher looking for the second. 
And Caleb Mosier, second of the game, has made it a 2-2 affair. Hashik's Heroes drawing even in the third period. Caleb Mosier getting his second of the morning. Caleb Mosier just going inside and through the entire defense, gets himself a great opportunity from a prime scoring offered, prime scoring location, and he buries right there. And Hashik's Heroes gets this game tied with 11.45 to go in regulation. Just when they needed it the most, Hashik's Heroes finding an opportunity, that one in transition. Just like the first goal of the game, Caleb Mosier with some speed up ice, making it pay off when he got behind the defense as well. Caleb Mosier, two goals on the game. Hashik's Heroes now even up 2-2. Regals finding possession, Jones getting it in across the blue line. And now it's Jones putting some pressure on Maverick Kelly, but Kelly gets it away, takes a little bit of a bump behind the net and feeds it into the far corner. Two players get up after colliding behind the net, exchanging fist bumps, now getting back into the play. Good to see the sportsmanship alive and well here this morning at the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink. Puck comes out to the neutral zone. Lucas Jones sends it back into the offensive end. Still had a teammate about ready to clear the zone, so that one's going to be an offsides call. And we'll have a face-off along the Hashix Heroes blue line with 11-12 to go in a 2-2 third period. Yeah, let's see how the Regals respond to getting scored on. One thing we've noticed is when a team scores, the other team somehow gets a jolt of energy off it every time in this game. It seems to have happened with all four of the goals that have been scored in this one. The next shift from the team that gave up the goal has always been a very good one. So let's see what the Regals have here for this shift. Loose puck in the neutral zone. Maverick Kelly with a player on him. Nolan Bucky takes it away. Breakaway for the Regals. Bucky fakes it to the blocker side, goes glove side. The Regals get the answer right away. Nolan Bucky making it a 3-2 Regals lead. Good play by Nolan Bucky, showing off some strength, fending off a defenseman, fakes the shot, and then goes the other way, puts the goaltender down, has a wide open far side. Great patience and headiness by Nolan Bucky to give the Regals the lead right back. Not gonna say that we predicted it, but we definitely said it was a possibility, I given the way that the, yeah, given the way that this game has been, the uh, the answer always coming right back from the team that gives up a goal. Now it's Hashik's hero's turn to get an answer of their own. Elliot Bucky trying to do something to stop that. Good defensive play to make sure that Bucky didn't really have a lane there in the offensive end. It comes all the way back down into the Regal zone where the netminder will throw a glove over top of it. Eventually there's some pressure on him, so uh, Fordham gets the whistle and will now have a face off to his left with 10.35 to go in regulation. Our broadcast today brought to you by Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker to buy, sell, or lease any office, industrial, retail, or investment property. Trust the unparalleled knowledge and experience of Militello Realty. 10-27 remaining in regulation. This puck comes right towards the front of the net. Almost an opportunity there, right in tight for Hashik's Heroes, keeping that stick down and making sure that one didn't get past him. The netminder, Carson Fordham. Puck leaves the zone and then comes back across the blue line, so we have an offsides call against Hashik's Heroes. And the faceoff will come in the neutral zone with 10-13 to go in regulation. Both teams making some line changes, getting ready for this neutral zone draw. Usiak and Zaborowski on for this faceoff. Actually, that was Stasic on for the faceoff for the Regals. Puck comes towards the far blue line. Elliott Bucky with some speed into the offensive zone. Backhand pass right towards the mid slot. Bouncing puck. Regal's trying to settle that one down. Good defense, though, getting that one cleared out of danger. Puck comes back towards the front of the net, sitting in a dangerous spot again. Couple of Regal's players there looking for that stray puck. Good defense, though, making sure that it didn't sit there long enough for any of the Buffalo players to get a hold of it. Puck now just to the right of the net. Yes, it's going to be the Regal's finding possession and then a quick turnaround shot. That one goes off the side of the cage as uh, the Regals now putting some pressure on here in third period play. Puck comes to Priola in the mid slot. He lets a shot go, that one hits a leg. Now back towards the point where it's kept in for a moment by the Regals. Hashik's Heroes then clearing the zone, forcing the Regals to go back for it. Bridget Bucky playing it up the near side. Back into the offensive zone for the Regals. This is Alana Kraft starting the breakout for Hashik's Heroes. Some help coming over there from Usiak, and eventually it's played up the near wall. 
Bridget Bucky keeps it in. Far side pass where Walsick picks it up. Walsick against that far wall, chips it towards the front of the net. It bounces in front of the netminder who has a thought about playing it to a teammate, almost giving it to a Regals player there. Bit of a uh, tense moment there for Hashix Heroes, but a uh, fortuitous whistle giving Brady Simonic, or Brody Simonic the, uh, the stoppage that he absolutely needed there in that moment. Yeah, that was that was a high tension right there for Hashix Heroes. Got the whistle as Simonic really wasn't sure where the puck was, but he's going to get a face off in the defensive zone now. Looked like he didn't quite realize that there was a, 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 a Buffalo Regal player right next to him. Looked like he thought that that might have been a teammate that he was trying to slide the puck to. Fortunately, it doesn't end up in a uh, golden scoring opportunity, but there's the puck in a dangerous spot yet again. Uh, Maverick Kelly, the player in that case, doing the good work to make sure that puck didn't oh, sit in front of his netminder for long. Puck in the neutral zone as it's brought across the blue line by the Regals. Played towards the front for Smith. Good defensive play, denying that opportunity. Maverick Kelly again in the mid slot, denying that one. Puck comes towards the blue line where it's going to be Gareth Jones trying to get it out of the zone. He does manage to get it up the far wall. But it's going to be the uh, fellow Jones, Lucas Jones, for the Regals picking it up and moving it back in the opposite direction. Sorry, that's James. Brennan James in across the blue line. Feeds a pass along, and now Walzik in tight. Lets a shot go and a good save. Brody Simonic making another stop to keep this one a 3-2 hockey game. Hashik's Heroes now looking to counter. Maverick Kelly sidesteps two defenders, gets past a third one, lets the shot go this time. Maverick Kelly finds the back of the net. We said if he got more opportunities, he'd get that shot on target. This time he does. Maverick Kelly has tied it up at three. Man, Maverick Kelly picks a corner right there, Aaron. I don't think you and I can shoot a puck like that. Maverick Kelly just picks the puck up in his own end, skates through everybody and goes high blocker and gets this game tied with seven and a half to go. When he picked up that puck in the neutral zone, my first thought was it's late in his shift and he doesn't have enough gas to get it up ice. He found that gas and put it into high gear, had to beat three different defenders to get himself free for that shot. What a goal there to make this one a tie game. Seven and a half minutes to go in regulation. The drama certainly setting up here for the last bit of regulation. I am absolutely here for drama in this game. Ashix Heroes looking to get another one right after they get the tire. And the oh. shot <laughs> taken as weaving in through traffic and letting that one go, just going off the far outside part of the post. Ashix Heroes almost with a second goal right after getting the equalizer. Puck along the near wall, comes back towards the point. Ashix Heroes keeps it in. Only for a moment, though, as the Regals clear the zone, sending Mosher back after it. Mosher plays it up the far wall. That one gets a little bit past Reinecker. And Savannah Reinecker will have to go back and pick it up in the far corner. Stopping there, Reinecker's pass towards the mid-slot. And that one gets intercepted. Hashik's Heroes now with a chance to set something up offensively. Shot attempt doesn't get towards the front of the cage from Mallory McDonald, but it's kept in at the point. Ow. That shot ends up being deflected. Scharf getting into that shooting lane, keeping that shot from getting in on goal. Back to the point. Hashik's Heroes just comes across the blue line. Uh, Chevalier unable to get that one from uh, going across the blue line, so that's going to be an offsides call. Faceoff will come right below our broadcast position with 6.34 to go in regulation. We're getting late here, and it's it's a dramatic third period. We have triple threes on the board. 3-3 three, three in the third with 6.34 to go. Great. Some nail-biting, some, uh, some nervous parents here in the crowd, Aaron. The great Rick Jennerette would say threes are wild. I, I Usually I, he would go with twos. I'm not worried. I don't want to disrespect Rick by trying to. You you all day. You you have the business. Not disrespect at all, just paying tribute. Oh, did he get one? Yes, he did. We got a penalty call coming up here. It's going against Hashik's Heroes as Nolan Bucky draws the penalty. It is a tripping call coming up, and it is going to be a power play at a big moment in the game for the Buffalo Eagles. Big moment here, but remember, the only special teams goal that's been scored today has been shorthanded, so definitely something to watch here. Phoebe Mercado with the minute and a half tripping minor penalty, so it's a chance on the power play for the Regals. 6.17 to go in regulation as we have to update our clock here as we have a little bit of a uh, technical difficulty to get the uh, score clock on. We'll just uh, continue to update you with the uh, exact time Scoring as we chance. continue here. Maybe an opportunity shorthanded. Mike Wright in alone. 
Wright lets the shot go. Rolling puck, though, just couldn't quite get the shot on goal when that one rolled on him. Power play continuing, though, for the Regals as they uh, have to get the puck up ice from their own end. They do get it to the blue line, but a little bit of difficulty getting it up ice in that first attempt, and now it's going to be Nolan Bucky picking it up. A little bit of time and space to work with into the offensive zone. Nolan Bucky towards the net, takes the shot, save is made by Simonic. Second shot opportunity comes right back to Simonic, and the glove hand goes over top of that one to force a whistle. The Hashix Heroes netminder making the stops that he needs to here in third period action. Yeah, and again, Simonic rising to the occasion, getting on top of that blue paint, making another huge save for his team, keeping this one tied with 5.41 to go here in regulation. Power play, though, still continuing here. 54 seconds remaining in the man advantage. As we are under six minutes to go in regulation, Regals with a chance in tight. First shot attempt doesn't get there. Good defense. Hashix Heroes clogging the front of the net, making sure that they did everything they could to help their netminder. The dangerous Maverick Kelly through the neutral zone. Takes the shot from a couple steps inside the blue line. A good block by Reinecker to keep that one from getting on goal. And now it's going to be picked up by the Regals, but they can't get it out here in the near side. Usiak getting in the way there, getting it deep in the offensive zone. Big collision in the corner right there. A couple of players collide there in the corner. Everybody getting back to their skates as it's going to be Stazizic bringing it into the offensive zone. Gets knocked down just inside the blue line, plays it towards the front of the net. And just to the right of the cage, going to be picked up there by Aubrey Simonic and played up the near wall. It's a heads up play by Simonic as well, knowing he had time to kill this penalty. 4.47 now to go in regulation as the Hashix Heroes penalty expires. Team in yellow now back to full strength as they find possession. Aubrey Simonic playing it from behind the net up the near side. Picked up there by the Regals as they get it right back towards the front of the net. That one just a little bit off the mark. Possession again for the Regals as they get it towards the net front, but they can't find a player there. Eventually it does get in front of the net and a chance in tight. Another save made by Brody Simonic. I've lost count about how many high danger chances he's had to stop so far. I would say that's at least eight or nine. Puck played out of the zone by Hashix Heroes. As we have just a little bit of an issue here on our uh, video end. As, uh, just give us a moment here, and we'll get things all sorted away as we continue here with a third period action, 3.48 remaining in the period. While we deal with the technical difficulties, it's gonna be the Regals breaking through the neutral zone right here, but the play is stalled at center ice, and it's the Regals pushing forward. They gain the line with Walzik. And a good defensive play there by Maverick Kelly. And Maverick Kelly's going to get ahead of steam right here. He's got him changing. Let's see if Maverick Kelly can do something with this. Kelly steps it over the blue line. Two defenders on him, and he is double teamed and knocked neatly off the puck right there by the defense of the Buffalo Eagles. Puck goes through the neutral zone, and a good defensive play as the Eagles were looking to get numbers. And now they're going to go for the long pass. That, that's going to work as Jones gets in behind the defense, but a good back check there by Hashix Heroes as we get our camera situation back. All right. Apologies for that as we get things sorted away. Nothing really missed there, though, as we are under three minutes to go in third period play. 2.57 on the clock. And uh, there's actually a penalty call coming up here. It is going against Hashix Heroes. So a minute and a half penalty against the Hashix Heroes side. A late chance on the power play for the Buffalo Regals. Well, more drama, and again, we've got we've had sh we've had more shorthanded opportunities than power play opportunities. So it's going to be interesting to see what transpires here. But I'm thinking we might get a goal here. Uh, just a matter of who's going to get it for for them, Aaron. So the Regals with a power play under three minutes to go in regulation. Hashix Heroes finding possession off the draw and now trying to get it out, but it's kept in at the far side by Reinecker. Shot towards the front of the net. Hashix Heroes again looking for the clear, but it's going to be Sharf playing that one toward the front of the net. Just barely missing the net wide on the near side. Puck down low as it's played towards the front of the net. Picked up in the far corner. The Regals setting up some possession. Sharp at the top of the circle. Backhand pass and ends up on a Hashix Hero stick. Now an opportunity for the team in yellow and boot. Blue to get it clear. 
and they do so. Ethan Lazor getting that one up ice. Maybe has an opportunity on the backhand. Just can't get that one on goal with three different Regals players harassing him. Puck comes towards the blue line. Played across the blue line again. That one's going to be an offsides call as Alana, Clark, Alana Kraft played it back into the offensive zone. 2.08 now remaining in regulation. 3-3 is our score. Buffalo Regals still with the power play continuing here for another 41 seconds. Yeah, 2.08 to go here in regulation, and the Hashix Heroes have done a great job so far on this penalty kill, but there's still plenty of work to do on this kill. 41 seconds remaining on the penalty kill. As the Regals find possession, this is going to be Bucky into the offensive zone. Nolan Bucky on his backhand, just couldn't quite make the move around the defender Mosier. Ashix Heroes getting the clear, sending it through the neutral zone. Not far enough for icing, though, with 25 seconds to go on the penalty kill. Zaborowski picking it up there for the Regals. Zaborowski up ice. Nolan Bucky finds control of it there, but a good defensive play there at center ice. That was Aubrey Simonic creating that loose puck. James just inside the Regals' blue line, plays it up ice along the near wall. Mosier chasing it down for Hashix Heroes as the last two seconds tick away on the penalty. Hashix Heroes back to full strength as Mosier has a head of steam from behind his own net. Playing it through the neutral zone as it comes rolling slowly into the offensive zone. This could be an opportunity. Foot race, though, is won by the player in red. Good work there by Brendan James to make sure that a Hashix Heroes player didn't get to that loose puck first. Elliott Bucky getting that one up ice to Pryor, but it goes off of Pryor's stick, and now Mosier picks it up. Exactly a minute to go in regulation, as the puck is still in the offensive zone for the Regals. On the far side. Holding possession there and keeping it towards the front of the net. Mosier intercepts the pass, though. And now Mosier with a chance to go up ice. Mosier with some speed, but good defense. Elliott Bucky coming back defensively, taking that one away from Mosier. 37 seconds to go in the period. Player gets knocked down. There's going to be a penalty called here, it seems, as it was uh, number two, Nolan Bucky, getting knocked down for the Regals. And the uh, penalty, it appears to be coming up to Hashik's Heroes, as heading to the penalty box is going to be Marlo McDonald. All right, so the Regals get another chance with 36 and a half to go to see if they can maybe put this thing away. And they're going to get the offensive zone faceoff, and they're going to get possession, but again, Hashik's Heroes has not been afraid to send their forwards up ice on the penalty kill to try and get behind the defense. I don't know if that's strategy or if it's just great awareness. Whatever the case may be, though, don't expect Hashik's Heroes to play for the tie here. They're going to send their forwards up to win. They're going to go D3 the Mighty Ducks and send the hanger with this one, aren't they? I think this is one of the benefits about being, this is that age group. Yeah, it's being a young hockey player that... Play fearless. You, you, you don't know that you're supposed to think defensively when you're killing a penalty. You I still, still don't know I'm supposed to think that. Maybe you'd fit in right here pretty well at the at, at this level, because uh, I don't uh, think seen, I would, Aaron, for obvious reasons. Might be a little bit tall, might stand out in that regard. The but equipment wouldn't fit me. Also true, but the point's the same. That uh, you know, players at this age, when they get an opportunity for offense, they're going to think offense. Thirty-four seconds to go in the period. Regal's finding possession. They might get a chance out in front. Great save made to stop the game potential game-winning goal there as the opportunity was there in front. Brody Simonic slams the door shut, though. 20 seconds to go in regulation. Here we go. for Hashix Heroes to at least get it cleared. Mike Wright makes sure it gets out of the zone, and now Hashix Heroes comes up ice with some speed into the offensive zone. Shot from distance, hits a skate, now rolling towards the front of the net with four seconds to go in the period. Regals clear it towards the blue line. Last two seconds ticking away in regulation. And after three periods of play, this one is going to have a 3-3 final score, a very entertaining game. Hard to say that one team necessarily deserved to uh, come away with a victory here in this one. Both teams could make an argument that they did everything that they could have to come away with the win. In Neither this team case, deserved to lose. Exactly. Neither team deserved to lose. In this case, it's a 3-3 tie as our final score and a very entertaining game to start off our broadcast here with Hashix Heroes. Certainly everything we would hope for in our game here this morning to kick off our run of games with this great organization, Hashix Heroes. Absolutely, two great organizations, Hashix Heroes and the Buffalo Regals treated us to an entertaining game at the 10U level. Not that there was any doubt about that, but their scoring was back and forth. There were opportunities and you know, 
Simonic makes a huge save at the end of regulation right there. I mean, it was on the doorstep. I mean, I would have blown that, but a hockey player is supposed to score there, but the goaltender makes a great save. And, you know, it wasn't a 3-3 tie where you're leaving wondering left what could have been, not that you do at this level, but, I mean, this was an entertaining game. Both teams played outstanding. Both teams should be extremely happy with the game they put out today, and um, both teams have plenty to build on because these all these kids have extremely bright futures in the game, and this was just a step in that direction. And uh, just great to see the the energy and the excitement Oof. on the ice still here as uh, players finish up the handshake line and uh, get ready for the uh, the continuation of their season, and certainly a uh, a good way to start off our our, our broadcast here with Hashik's Heroes. A very entertaining three three tie is our final score as the Regals and Hashik's Heroes skate to a three-all tie, but certainly not the type of game that you would uh, feel disappointed in seeing a tie score. It was uh, entertaining from start to finish and uh, a very good game to, uh, to, have a, to have a broadcast on. Certainly uh, everything we would hope for from the broadcast booth perspective. Absolutely. As a broadcaster, we got everything we wanted. We got scoring. We got saves. There were penalties. There were plays. I mean, it was an entertaining hockey game. These are two good-looking hockey teams at this level. Um, they're gonna, Both teams are going to have a lot of success. They're going to win a lot of games, and they're going to learn a lot as this season progresses, and it's going to be awesome that we get to be part of this going forward. The uh, Hashix Heroes coaching staff was telling us that coming into this one early on in the season, obviously, but this Regals team, at least early on, was leading the whole league in terms of goals scored and wins and everything along those lines. So this might be a preview of uh, what might be a matchup that will come up throughout the season. These two teams maybe establishing themselves as the uh, potential leaders in the 10U division. They could uh, have another great matchup later on this season. Whenever they meet again, I'm sure that one will be circled on both teams' do we, calendars. Do we, do, we, do we say the R word, the, the rivalry word, or do we got one of those brewing? I think we might. I mean, two certainly teams out of Buffalo, two teams that played, played well, respectably well. Yeah, a very respectful type of rivalry too. Certainly a, a, a great, great game with uh, the rivalries great. are healthy, you want all of them in this area. That's how the game grows, and that's how – it's just, it's, just, it's just what the game is built on. you got to have friendly. We don't need the dirty stuff, but two teams get familiar with each other. Two teams, you know, get up for each other. That's something you want to see as early as possible because then that fire you get as you ascend through the levels of travel into high school, into juniors, and all the way through, that's what fuels you. So maybe facing, we got yeah. it starting. Facing the same opponents that, you, that you've been playing against since you were at the 10U level, get started at this point and keep moving on from there. And if uh, the games all have the kind of great offense, the scoring, the defense that we saw here, as well as the goaltending, certainly uh, bodes well for the future of the Western New York hockey community as uh, that's certainly what we know that Hashik's Heroes has a huge impact on is uh, in terms of what they do and what they're able to provide for the community. And we're certainly happy to help them along with that to give a little bit more of a spotlight to some of the work that Hashix Heroes does with these broadcasts. Certainly great to be here for this first game, and we look forward to several more throughout the course of the season. That should just about do it for our broadcast today from the Bud Bakewell Ice Rink in Buffalo's Riverside Park. For color commentator Sean McHugh, my name is Aaron Elper, and thank you for joining us this morning, and we'll talk to you again soon on the Nickel City Hockey Network. Modern media is everyone shouting for attention and no one hearing a thing. Broadcast to social, print to digital, 412 Communications has the solution to get you heard. Want to know more? Visit 412communications.com today. I created Buffalo Golf and Social for one reason, to create a space that's different and unique from any other golf facility you've ever been to. It's a place to learn, and it's a place to enjoy. You ready?